For part three of this lab, you are going to be measuring the density of ice. Because ice will melt rather rapidly in the warm temperatures in the lab, you will need to work very quickly. Make sure you have all of your equipment handy, the bottle of ice cold hexanes, your 25 milliliter graduated cylinder, which should be dry, a small plastic weigh boat, and some tweezers. You will need to make arrangements with your lab partners so that one of you can be recording while the other one is moving things from the balance to the weigh boat and from the weigh boat to the graduated cylinder. You will be using the analytic balance in order to determine your masses here so that we have more precision, more significant figures. You're going to make sure that the doors are closed and then record the mass of the empty weigh boat. You're going to pour about 10 milliliters of hexanes into your graduated cylinder. You don't need exactly 10 milliliters. You can see here I have about 11, and that's fine. Um, but you do want to make sure that you record the exact amount using proper significant figures. Make sure that you move to the appropriate eye level in order to see what the measurement is. Work quickly to transfer a few small pieces of ice into your plastic weighing dish. Make sure that they are small enough that they are going to fit into your graduated cylinder. Be sure to close the door on the analytic balance before you record it. And then quickly transfer your ice into your graduated cylinder. Notice that the ice has sunk to the bottom of the graduated cylinder. What does this tell you about the density of the ice relative to the density of hexanes? Your last piece of data you're going to collect is the volume of the ice in the graduated cylinder. You want to do this rapidly before the ice can melt. Again, you want to be sure that you are reading at eye level. So make sure that the lines that wrap around the graduated cylinder overlap with one another around the area where you have your measurement. Once you have made your measurements, take your graduated cylinder into the hood and pour the ice and the hexanes into the separatory funnel. The layer that is aqueous with water will separate out from the hexanes and we will be able to separate the two in mass. Repeat the procedures that you have just done two more times to collect two more pieces of data.